Hey guys, good afternoon. It's 12.07, it's Sunday. What's the date today? The 20th, September 20th. And I had a super relaxing day on Saturdays. On um, yesterday. Um, I don't know, like I have been like go, 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 like all week for so many weeks. And then like Saturday is my day to just like chill and relax and do what I want. And it was amazing and it felt amazing. And I'm gonna do that every week. I don't know if it's gonna be Saturday. It's gonna be like switched between Saturday and Sunday just depending on what's going on. But today, yesterday was my friend's birthday. So today we're gonna go um, hang out. We were originally supposed to go get lunch but then she went um, and had lunch at her parents' house. So I think that we're just gonna go to Sephora. Um, and I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up food to bring here or what, I don't know. But yeah, that's what's on the agenda for today. I also have to do, you guys guessed it, some editing. <laughs> I gotta get a video up for my weight loss channel for tomorrow. And I also need to get a video edited, get it over to a sponsor. So a little bit of fun mixed in today with a lot of work. So yeah. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this chain link thingy from Express. I have these earrings. I have no idea where I got them from, but they just have like little rhinestone J's on them. I got this shirt from Reb Dolls. Y'all, I'm gonna try to find a picture on how this used to fit me. I tried it on this morning and I was like, whoa. So, your girl's seeing results and I'm so excited. These jeans also are getting much looser. Well, much looser than they used to be, so that's exciting as well. And then for my shoes, I just have these um, Tory Burch sandals. Um, it's actually really cool outside, you guys. Like, most people are probably going to be wearing sweaters today. What's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 56 degrees. My air's still on, y'all. It feels amazing out there to me. Like this is perfect for me. And I actually was, I was gonna wear my Chuck Taylors and my Chuck Taylors actually would look better with this. But because I got a pedicure the other day, I wanna show my toes. So that's why I'm wearing these. Yeah, it feels amazing out there and I'm so excited. What is that? I'm like, oh, that's my, that's my wallet. Not my wallet, my phone. Anyways, I gotta go eat lunch real quick because my friend already ate lunch and I don't really want to stop anywhere. So I'm gonna go eat lunch real quick and I'm gonna go hang out with my friend today. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. So I recorded this thing. You guys remember last week's vlog? If you didn't watch it, I will link it down below. But at the end of the video, I talked about like, I heard this Joyce Meyer message and it was like talking about like timing and this and that and you're exactly where you're supposed to be at this moment and like going through storms and whatnot. So I listened to that message, I found it this morning and I listened to it and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta record it for, the, for everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with that and show you guys uh, the message because it's, it's important. Attitude is everything, number one, and I think that was the name of the message. And you know, really, when you have a problem in your life, when you have a storm in your life, you can always think like this. Well, I wish this wouldn't have happened, but it could have been a lot worse. I had a situation not too long ago where I was going somewhere and I wanted to get there at a certain time, but it looked like I was going to be just a little bit late. And I was frustrated about it. And lo and behold, when we, as we went down the highway, we noticed a situation where like 45 seconds before we arrived at that spot on the highway, there had been a major, major accident that looked like there was probably some deaths involved. And God used that to cause me to realize that had I left when I wanted to leave, I might have been the one in that accident. But our times are in God's hands. And sometimes he will block you from being able to do exactly what you want to do because even though you don't know it he's saving you from some kind of future pain 
And so let's always have a good attitude and trust God that he's always doing the best thing for us. Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday, September 21st, 10:13 a.m. Um not really much to do today actually. I'm actually really surprised. I'm like, what do I have to do? And then I was like, hmm. So so far, I have meal prepped, meal planned, and I'm going to order groceries from Walmart. And I have a soup going in the crock pot. I'll show you guys that later when it's done. Um, the last two have been fails, so fingers crossed this one's going to be good. We have an appointment to go to at 1.10. I really need to clean out my car, y'all. Ever since I bought my car, I just like put the stuff from my old car into these bags that they gave me, and they're literally still sitting in the trunk. <laughs> So I really need to go through that. By the way, this morning it was so chilly outside. It felt amazing. It feels amazing right now. It's like, what's the current temperature? Right now, it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 73 degrees. It's still only 50, um, y'all, it's 59 degrees outside and I'm in here sweating. What else is new? <laughs> but it's 59 degrees outside. That is freaking awesome. Like, I am just loving this weather. Sometime today, we are definitely going for a walk. We'll probably just walk the neighborhood. Um, And that's really about it. Okay, so we are on our way to an appointment. I just have these earrings in right here. I have no idea where I got them from. Maybe Avon, like eons ago. Then I just have these necklaces. I have them on this like little um, separator chain that I got from Amazon, which I will link down below. I can't link these necklaces. Oh, they look good. <laughs> Messing with them now they're, anyways. Um, <clears throat> I can't link these because I can't find them anymore, but I'll link something similar. I just have this watch band on from Amazon. Nails are still the same. And then this tank I got from Yoins. These Forever 21 jeans I've been wearing the heck out of, and then Chuck Taylor's. So that is my outfit of the day. So we just got back, and I wanted to show you guys. I checked the mail, and I wanted to show you what I got. Hold on, let me make sure all my addresses are covered. All my addresses, like I have multiple homes or something. Okay, so this I'm so excited about. Because sometimes when you order stuff like this, I got it off the Walmart website, and sometimes when you order stuff like this, it comes like super tiny, but the biggest size that they had was an XXL, and it fits. It's not like a perfect fit yet, because I can wear it, and I feel like it'll still be like a little itty bitty tight, but this is like the perfect, do you guys remember the 90s where we all dressed, well not all of us, but a lot of us dressed very grungy. My standard uniform was a band tee and a flannel. And I was thinking, I was like, this is gonna be that perfect layering piece to put a flannel on top for the fall. Which by the way, it feels amazing outside still. Like, oh my gosh, it feels amazing. But anyways, this is what I got. It is an InSync, which I actually have this in a t-shirt but I saw it on Walmart when I was going to link it and I saw that they have a tank top and I was like oh my gosh I have to get it so I got it comment down below which one was my favorite I'm gonna give you a hint <laughs> um anyways then I also got these in yes I ordered nine packs of these you guys because I have been loving having my nails done oh my gosh it's just been perfect so that being said I ordered nine sets you can literally get two wears out of a pack. They're so good. I personally put them with glue, which the current glue is not working out that great. Um, so I got another glue that I'm going to test out, but I got these little designs. Then how cute are these? It is a navy blue. I don't know if it's like the coloring's like truly picking up on that so pretty and then i got these ones look at that little fun detail i'm y'all usually i'm like so boring when it comes to my nails boring and basic but these are so cute 
And then how adorable are these? I don't like cats, but how cute is that? I love that pink color though. And then I also got these. How fun. And then these. These are like a navy blue French tip. And then I don't know if I showed you guys these or not. But how cool are those? I did work with All Dashing. And I think my coupon code still works. I don't earn commission or anything. It's just like a little incentive for you guys. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. Um, or I'll link the link. Put the link down below. And then also... I will, if you use code Jill50, it'll get you, you pay full price for one and then you get the next one half off. So these run between $11 to $13. And if you think about it, that's a killer crazy deal because like I said, you get two uses out of this whole entire thing. And on top of that, they're like 13 bucks. So you divide that in, in half. I just went crazy. I went ahead and I think I spent like $95 which it's like, whoa, I know it's a lot. No, it's like 85, which again, I know it's like, whoa, it's a lot. But if you put in perspective that I could easily spend that in one nail salon visit to get my nails and my toes done, that's like, I mean, this is gonna last me for sure for the rest of the year, maybe into next year. So definitely worth it. Okay, y'all, I have to show you these pictures. Like I just legit have to, I cannot wait for you guys to see them. If you're not following me on my weight loss channel, you need to. Like, what are you doing? It's taking weight off, and it's linked down below. Y'all, are y'all ready for these before and afters? Hold on. First of all, let me just say, I only lost one. I only lost one pound. This whole entire month, I lost one pound. This whole month. Okay. But I need you guys to see these before and afters. So. You guys ready? Okay. You guys are so special when you watch my vlogs. You get before anyone else gets to see stuff. Privilege. All right, let's do this. Are you kidding me, y'all? Like, are you kidding me? This was day one. This is today. What? Do y'all see my face? This is today. This was day one of my 30 day challenge. So this was 30 days ago. Again, I see a huge difference right here and in my cheeks, like huge, huge progress. So this is why it's so incredibly important that you are taking progress pictures, that you are going by what your clothes say and not what that stupid scale says. Because if I would have went solely on what the scale said this month, I would have been depressed and sad. So I'm very, very proud of myself and my progress. And again, when I got on that scale this morning, I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. But then when I tried on those jeans, I was like, <sighs> okay, I gotta go back to editing this because I have group at five and I only have less than an hour to get this all done. Okay, I swear last time, I swear last time, I promise. But y'all have got to see this because I'm going through the footage. I I just, I can't. Like, oh my, I forgot that this is how these jeans fit me. Check this out. Y'all, y'all. Oh my gosh. Sorry if I screamed your ear off. But there's no other way. Like, holy crap. Y'all, this was one pound lost this month. Like, I, I can't even, I can't even begin to express, like, oh, oh my gosh, I just can't. The feeling I had when I was, when I buttoned these up, I don't even have that much of a muffin top. I will say they are skin tight and I can barely move because they don't have much stretch to them. But look at the difference. That's huge, y'all. When it seems like you have lost control And you feel like, feel like you're alone When you lost something worth fighting for Do you take it, take it as a low? All I need is another chance to get back up and make amends Try. All I need 
It's another chance This time will be different Gotta let me, gotta let me try Leave the skyline, heading back to old times Like the pipe up to feel like I'm doing fine Chase the place with whatever I'm chasing Anything to leave my head Where the mystic Hey guys, so it is 4.48 we had a busy day today. We went to the park. Um, they had like this thing for the kids. Um, then we went and did the stairs for five minutes. Oh wait, we did the thing for the kids, then we walked. Then we did the stairs for five minutes. We all did them too, all three of us. Um, then we came home, we ate lunch. I got Contrell's pictures back. Isn't he just so handsome? Yes, stop it. He's so handsome. So tonight for dinner, I wanted to make this thing that I used to always make, but I just realized the kids didn't like it. I thought they just didn't like the crust because my kids are weird. They don't like stuff like mashed potatoes and crusts. Like crust is the favorite, is my is like the best part of a pie. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna make that for dinner and I was gonna show you guys. Oh, by the way, I also had counseling, and then I took a nap, because I kind of knew this morning when I woke up, I was like, today's going to be a good nap day. Mm, I just feel it, and yeah, I took a nap, and it felt amazing. It was a two-hour nap. It was probably longer than I should have taken, but whatevs. So, where's the recipe? There used to be this website. I miss that it's gone but it was called better better something america better health america i don't know i don't know what it was called but um <clears throat> they used to make these things and they used to call them like healthified so this was like healthified chicken pot pie and then they had like another one of my favorites was like healthified chili <laughs> So good. So anyways, this is what you need. I don't know if you can read my handwriting, but if you want to screenshot that so you can have it. So yeah, the weather, you guys, has been beautiful. This is like, I legit think the first year ever where it turned fall and it legit feels like fall. Like yesterday was the first day of fall, so happy fall to everyone. My favorite time of the year. And it legit felt like fall. And I was like, what the heck? It actually feels like fall. So anyways, also I'm actually really noticing my weight loss. I'm so excited. All right, let's make this chicken pot pie. One thing that I know that kind of reduces the fat is the fact that you use 1% milk. You use lower fat cream of chicken. I used to use whole wheat flour, but I'm not gonna use that this time. And you also only, instead of putting a crust on the bottom and the top, you only put the crust on the top. So let's do this. Let's see if I can find my pie pan. So first you wanna take three tablespoons of flour. Then you wanna take milk. Put some salt and pepper in that and whisk it together. You wanna whisk it until it's kind of thick. Add onion and then the rest of the ingredients and you're just gonna like cook it and then I don't have a pie pan so we're just gonna have to work with this pan um so yeah you just like put the chicken cream of chicken soup in there which I'll have to scrape out the sides when I put the camera down you put some sour cream some mixed veggies And then some cooked chicken. I have this frozen chicken. It's diced chicken by Dyson. <laughs> Dyson? Tyson. And then you just mix it together, pour it in here, cover it with a pie crust, cook it at 40 minutes. Cook it for 40 minutes at 375. And I just poured the stuff in there and then I just put the crust over 
And then whatever was like overlapping up here, I just tore it off and I put it right down there and then right down there and I did a little smiley face. This used to be one of my favorites. It used to be one of my ex-husband's favorites too, which is why I think I haven't made it in a long time. But it's so easy to make. Like it literally comes together in minutes. So here is my delicious dinner. It actually came out looking really good. Hey guys, happy Thursday. It is currently 327 so far today I have filmed two try-ons I've made dinner already and I feel like I've done more when I say it like that it feels like I've done nothing <laughs> did I have counseling today no that was yesterday oh I did the pre-op questionnaire over the phone I'm so scared you guys I've been putting off the surgery for seven years and I was telling the lady that she's like, yeah, you need to go ahead and get this done. And this hospital is really great. And everyone that's had this procedure has just talked about how it was just done so wonderfully. And I'm like, I know, I know the doctor's amazing. He is amazing. But I get panic attacks when I get my blood drawn because one time I had a panic attack, we'll get my blood drawn and it's the whole like can't move thing. I can sit here for 30 minutes doing nothing, but tell me I can't move and I'm going to freak the f out. <laughs> so, huh, I don't know. Anyways, I asked her, I was like, well, can my mom come with me to this appointment? She's like, no, your mom can come to you with, to the surgery and she's going to need to stay with you for 24 hours, but you have to come alone. She can come wait in the car or she can, she can come with you, ride with you and wait in the car but she can't come in with you because we can't have the visitors and blah 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 in the waiting room so i was like well can i listen to music when you guys draw my blood <laughs> yes y'all i am a baby so she was like of course and i'll put it in your show she was such a sweet lady she was so sweet she was like of course i will put it in your file that you are you you are a little anxious um, so I was just like, oh my gosh, but it's getting closer and closer. Next Friday I go for my pre-op. They're going to do a sonogram. I know I have cysts. I know I have a fibroid. I'm wondering if he's going to take those out as well. But anyways, I just got a package from Ulta and I wanted to test it out with you guys. Now I know this product is a lot of money. Okay, hold on. Like, it's a lot of money, but... If this is the magical unicorn dust that everyone and their mother has been saying that it is, your girl is going to be in high heaven because I cannot, for the life of me, find a curling iron or a curling product that will hold curl in my hair. Clean, dirty, I don't care. My hair does not hold curl. So I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it again and I was just like, let me do it because if it doesn't work, it's going back. So I went ahead and I broke down and I got the T3. So basically, if you've never heard about it before, it's very expensive. Like this wand part right here, I think is like $95 and then I think this is $95. So basically, this is a $200 or close to a $200 curling wand which again yes it's ridiculous but if it's as magical as everyone else claims that it is and if it holds my curls like everyone else and their mother claims that the t3 will do then it will be money well spent so basically you just have the base and then you pick your wand they have clip they have clipless wands they also have the ones with the clips they have all different sizes all different kinds they even have a kit that it's like i think it's like 300 dollars, and it comes with this and then three different wands and again you can do clipless or you can do the one with the clip let's hope that this does not turn out like the tiktok uh what's it called bun that i tried to do last week the mess I'm in. Chase the face with whatever I'm chasing Anything to leave my head When you falling back to
to round again How do you get up when your body's saying no? We've broken all that you have left How do you take back, take back what you've lost? All I need is another chance to get back up and make a mess, yeah Okay, so I'm all done, y'all I have literally, first of all, I don't know that I like the one inch. I'm gonna like, see, and then maybe trade it for the one and a half inch if, it, if I end up liking it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. But I'm like, this is like really, truly unlike any other hair tool I've ever used. It's really light. It was really easy. I didn't burn myself. Um, it was just really easy to wrap my hair around. My, my hair, my hand never hurt. I feel like it actually kind of defrizzed my hair along the way, which again, Hair curlers do not do for me. I feel like these waves are like bouncy and my hair, like look how shiny my hair looks. I don't know, I really don't know that I, I like this, this size. I do think, like I said, I'm gonna go and switch it for the 1.25, but we'll just see. We'll see if these last for the rest of the day. So that's what the back looks like. So I'm not sure if I'm liking it or not. I think I might need to do the 1.25. 5.30 and we are decorating for Halloween today. I've been putting this off all week. But I got these little lights from Dressily. So I put them on the mantle and I really like them. Yes, my nail fell off, but I'm gonna be changing these nails tomorrow. So I'm not worried about it. Um, oh, and then I have this happy Halloween banner up there. And we have like these little creepy people. These creepy people right here. They're like zombies. It's like they're normal and then they turn into zombies. So I figured it would look good right there and right there. So that's probably what we're gonna do. But this is like, oh, this is it for my Halloween decorations. Literally fits in one little bin. But I'm fine with it because I'm not huge on Halloween. This I will be different. Gotta let me, gotta let me try. You got to let me try. Leave the skyline, heading back to old times. Like the pipe up to feel like I'm doing fine. Chase the place with whatever I'm chasing. Anything to leave my head. Where the mystics feel like a blessing. And my mind is clear of the mess I'm in. Chase the place with whatever I'm chasing. Anything to leave my head. Here's the status of my hair, by the way. There's no way these curls are going to last on me for four days. It's only been four, five, six, seven. It's been about four hours. Do y'all see how frizzy my hair is? I don't know you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna keep testing it out. I'm gonna show you in the bathroom what they look like in the back, but we'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That's what it looks like in the back. Hold on. I honestly feel like this looks like my natural wavy hair. Just a little more body and a little less frizz. If I'm being honest. And I don't too much care for my naturally wavy hair. I don't know. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore. I want to get so nice. Wanna get so now what we enemies? No, you don't mind the way I Hey guys, it is Friday.
Friday, 11.05 a.m. So nothing much to do today. It's a rainy, dreary day. I was going to take the kids um, to play putt-putt tonight, but it's supposed to rain tonight and stuff like that. Plus, I'm like honestly feeling kind of icky. So it's a work day today. So yeah, this weekend, you guys will see what we're doing, but we have, uh, I have plans on Sunday, so hopefully it'll be a good day. But yeah, hopefully to that tomorrow's gonna be like rainy and drizzly. There's nothing better than like, oh, by the way, the humidity is back and it's back full force. So I was just about to say, there's nothing better than cuddling up on the couch or in your bed with like a blanket and it being all chilly outside and you making some soup and you watching Lifetime movies all day, but it's not gonna be chilly because like I said, the rain's back and with that comes the humidity. By the way, I didn't update you guys. I went ahead and I did not brush out my curls today and I'm gonna see how long this lasts and I will update you guys on next week's vlog on my thoughts on this. Obviously, I'm not just gonna like use it once and be like, this is a piece of crap, I'm done with it. So I will definitely update you guys. If you guys have this curling iron, let me know what you think of it personally. Do you have to use product? Do you guys have any suggestions on product that you can put in your hair that holds curled that does not in any way leave it tacky or leave it hard or anything like that? Let me know in the comments down below. And what, what was my other question? Do you guys know of any freaking products that stops your hair from frizzing? Straighteners maybe, maybe I'm not using the right straightener because my hair was straightened. I put this frizz oil stuff in my hair and it's still freaking frizzy, even when it was straight. So any suggestions, I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not a hair person, so I don't know. If you want advice about makeup products, come to me. But if you want advice about hair and hair products, don't come to me, because I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. I hope that you're having an amazing weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.